Is it possible that a good story can make a game worth playing, regardless of how much fun it is? Well, in the case of Parasite Eve, the answer is yes. Parasite Eve is a survival horror RPG from Squaresoft, and it was based off the novel of the same name by Hideaki Senna. The game was released in 1998 for the PS1, and also came bundled with a short demo movie of Final Fantasy VIII. You play as the NYPD rookie Aya Brea. The story begins when Aya and her date attend an opera. In the middle of the show, the audience starts bursting into flames until only Aya, her date, and a woman on stage named Melissa are left alive. When Aya confronts Melissa backstage, she is told that her mitochondria still need time to develop. Melissa then transforms into Eve and escapes into the sewers. The story spans over the course of six days, and each day plays out like an episode in a TV series. Each day you get closer to discovering the truth about what Eve really is. It's this driving force to reach the next part of the story that will keep most people playing till the end. An easy task, considering the game can be completed in about 20 hours, much shorter than most RPGs. The battle system in Parasite Eve is a mix of free movement with turn-based attacking. You have to alternate between avoiding enemy attacks and getting in range to attack when the bar at the top of the screen is full. It's a battle system that's in a category all its own, one that offers a degree of control that you don't get in traditional turn-based RPGs. However, sometimes during battle, invisible walls will severely limit your movement and make it difficult to avoid enemy attacks. While being restricted like this can become a nuisance, you'll rarely lose a fight because of it. Parasite Eve also has a fairly deep tune-up system for weapons. Your arsenal consists of pistols, rifles, rocket launchers, and other real-world tools of destruction. Pistols can fire more bullets in one turn. Rifles have a longer range than most weapons. Rocket launchers have an AOE bonus, and machine guns have rapid fire but less accuracy. The fun part about this system is that none of these bonuses are limited to their respective weapons. This is where the tune-up system comes in. Every once in a while, you'll be given a permit that will allow you to swap weapon abilities. If you want a long-range rifle that fires AOE poison bullets, you can do it. Want a pistol with rapid fire capabilities? You can do it. It's clear to see how such a flexible customization system can get addictive after a while, but being limited by if you have a permit or not can get annoying after a while, though it will probably just make you want to play through the game even more. In conclusion, Parasite Eve has a lot going for it. The great story will keep you hooked until the end, and the addictive customization system is reason enough to give the game a try. Though the battle system could have used a little more work, it's engaging enough to keep most players satisfied. And if you like a game with some disturbing images, Parasite Eve has plenty of them. So give Parasite Eve a try sometime. Just try not to burst into flames the first time you experience its awesomeness. <laughs>